Hello, my name's Ken Reif. I work with RVs for Less, Knoxville, Tennessee. I want to spend a few minutes with you today talking about a DRV mobile suite. Uh, the DRV sells mobile suite, elite suite, and a full house. Uh, the elite suite is a mobile suite with just some extra options on it, fiberglass roof, full body paint. The full house DRV is their toy hauler version. But we're standing in front of a 44 Houston DRV mobile suite. On the mobile suites are partial body paint, but with all the slides closed, every color you see is paint and clear. They do use an automotive paint, Sitkins automotive paint and clear. And then with the uh, decals, the only decals on a DRV is where it actually says mobile suite. Now as we look at this unit, underneath the fifth wheel area, you will see a black stripe across where your generator compartment and battery compartment is. That's actually painted with the anti-chip paint. Now, uh, DRV uses that so it cuts down on damage from road debris as you're traveling. Uh, you still can incur some, but it really reduces that. And then you have your generator compartment in the center, your hydraulic and battery compartment off to my right. And this unit is shown with a marine outlet. So on the left, you have the marine outlet. That ties into the uh, surge guard transfer switch. So if you have an external generator, you can just plug that in there and power the coach up. Now DRV uses a Moride pin box on all of their units. Uh, along with the Moride pin box, they actually use a Moride independent suspension. The mobile suite and the elite suite come standard with the Moride independent suspension. The uh, full house comes with 8,000 pound axles. So as we come down the side of the unit, we will see this particular paint color is called a granite fusion. So you have the dark pewter, the off-white, the charcoal uh, on, on this unit. Now the partial body paint denotes that the side of the slide that goes through the wall is not painted. That is actually gel coated fiberglass. That's the reason they have to call this unit a partial body paint. On the Elite Suite, that unit, that particular area is painted the base color of the unit. Now you can get a full body paint in a mobile suite and then that that particular area would be painted. So we have a large cargo bay in this particular unit. This again is a 44 Houston which denotes a bath and a half. So we have a full cargo bay inside. Now you have your furnace on the left and on the right hand side of that that rear wall is DRV's copper manifold system for their water. So they use a copper manifold, hot and cold, and everything in this coach has an individual cutoff. So if you have an issue with the cold water in your kitchen sink, you can come to the manifold system, cut that off, use the rest of the coach just fine until you get that taken care of. As we continue down the side, you see the DRV lift system. They use a Lippert one-touch level-up system, which is a six-point hydraulic level system. This was actually uh, designed and invented by DRV. Lippert does the uh, construction of it. They bought the rights to it. But DRV is one of the only companies that puts these jacks on an angle. Your center jack and your rear jack, the lift jacks, are on a five-degree angle. The front jacks or your landing gear jacks are on a three degree angle. So when those jacks are down, they hold you kind of like outriggers, so it gives you more stability. And on this particular unit, we're showing the Moride lift step. This is an option from DRV. So this lift step has a footprint on the ground, so it's much, much more sturdy. Then when you want to close up, you open that door fully, lift the steps up into the doorway, close the door, then the side of the coach is clean skin. It has a really good look on it. Now DRV has three and a quarter inch walls, one of the thickest walls in the industry, two and a half inch aluminum studs on 16 inch center. You have uh, wool insulation rated uh, formaldehyde free, then double vapor barrier to keep any moisture from the exterior to enter the interior. You have deep tinted windows. They're not only tinted windows, they are double pane windows or double pane thermal pane windows. So they are gas filled windows to give you that true four season coach. They build a true four season coach. This unit will perform in New Mexico in July as well as Montana in January. They have a one piece rubber roof on a mobile suite it is a half inch hardwood rubber roof decking with a one piece uh, commercial rubber membrane. 
and then the flooring of a DRV is a 5 8 hardwood plywood. Then you would have LVT or shawl carpeting covering that floor. DRV uh, uses, again, as I said, the Moride Independent Suspension. You have 17 and a half inch H-rated Goodyear tires. Disc brakes are standard on all DRVs. Their spare tire is the same tire and wheel that you have on the unit. So if you had to put your spare on, it would look exactly as the ones around it. This particular unit is shown with the option dinette slide awning. So you're pretty much covered front to back on your door side with awnings. So you have awnings and LED lights under both awnings. So as we go into the coach, again, this is a 44 Houston. As we go into the coach, it is a bath and a half. You will be looking at the half bath door. Coming inside, as we said, we're in a 44 foot Houston mobile suite, which denotes by name, it's a bath and a half. So we have a front master bathroom and then a half bath. As we come into the door, you see the half bath area. And in the half bath, we have a stack of washer and dryer area. So it would be an RV size washer and dryer, but it would stack and you would leave space between them for your laundry detergent, fabric softener, that kind of thing. Have a cabinet above the washer and dryer area. Then we have a single sink into this half bath, medicine cabinet, and then a macerator toilet. With the macerator toilet, you actually have a grinder in it. It's an electric flush. You have a light and a heavy flush, and then a macerator with the grinder, so you're not actually putting true solids in your black tank. As we continue on to our left, we're going into the dinette area. And in our dinette slide, we have a dinette table that pulls out the depth of the buffet. It's in the open mode now, and then it actually has a leaf in it. So you can unclip two slides, pull this out, and it houses the leaf, gives you about 12 inches. So with the two folding chairs that are with this unit, gives you a true seating for four. So as we put this back together, and then we push it in, this is your travel mode. So this is how you would have it if you're traveling down the road. So when you close your slides, the table doesn't actually hit the island. Then you have your buffet top with the solid surface top on it. And as we're looking at this area, this is the hazelnut wood. So this is a hardwood maple stained hazelnut. You have the MCD roller blind, so the white blind is your night blind that uh, cuts out all the light, and then the black blind is mesh to do the UV. Now, DRV has three and a quarter inch walls with wool insulation with a double vapor barrier, so you can see a window seat, much as you would have in your home. DRVs are built much like you would stick and brick a house. So it's a very high quality unit, one of the best production units built. Uh, it's all one of the only units that will actually make changes during a build. If you want to do a few things a little differently, they are open to that. Uh, this particular unit, as we continue on left, has a full desk area. So if you work from the, the unit, if you travel with your job, you can have your desk, file cabinet drawers, storage drawers, cabinets overhead, or this can be changed to different configurations. We have done a hutch, we've done a pantry, we've done a wardrobe, so there can be uh, lots of different things here. There just has to be something there for structure of the slide. The slide is so long. As we continue on into the living room area, we have two recliners. These are power recliners, and they are Lambright Comfort Chairs. Vern Lambright, the Amish company, hand makes these chairs. He's uh, got about 15 guys as his company. And we have a 10 inch smart table between the chairs that has a lift top so you can uh, house your remotes or what have you and then pull out drawers with soft clothes. Uh, then as we go on we have a sofa it's a Lux HA high to bed sofa so there is a queen size bed in that and then you have again the two eight inch tables beside the sofa. All 12 volt lights all of your uh, round lights are LED. Then you have nice overhead cabinetry uh, frosted glass and the overhead cabinets in the center. And this particular unit is built uh, showing the Louisiana carpet cut. So we have taken the carpet out of the living room. The RV typically will leave the sofa on carpet. So as you travel, it cuts down on movement of the sofa. You can take that carpet out all the way to the wall and then I would just uh, fix that sofa to the floor. Then as we continue on, then we have a 55 inch TV. It is an LG Smart TV with a sound bar, subwoofer in the cabinets overhead, 
And also in the center cabinet overhead, we have a Blu-ray DVD player. Also in this cabinet, you see the wine guard control for the wine guard razor dome antenna. So that's your air channels. You don't have an antenna that actually goes up and down anymore. This one is uh, affixed. It is a dome style, so you hit search. Every time you move the coach, when you get set up, you would search the channels and then do a channel search on your TV, and then you would get the, the locally available channels there. Below the TV, we have a fireplace rated at 400 square feet. This fireplace is electric, so it does put off heat. And then the crystals in the fireplace can be different colors. So we have white, they can be blue or red. You have high heat, low heat. You can actually set the temperature from 65 to 95, and then it would cut off at those temperatures. Above the fireplace, you have a pull-out drawer. We would call this a pencil drawer, or you can house remotes there or whatever, anything you would need to store. It could be there, soft closed drawer, of course. And then on the sides, you have large storage with a shelf on each cabinet. And as we continue on to our left, we have the pantry area. So frosted glass with adjustable shelves. It's a pantry or you can use it for plates or glasses, dishes, whatever you need. You can actually get more shelves if you would want to add a extra shelf or two. You can also do that. Below that we have the appliance garage. When you open the appliance garage, you have a pullout tray. And with this tray, you can set an appliance there, a slow cooker, a crock pot, a coffee pot, what have you. There is a 110 receptacle on the inside of the cabinet. And then below this, you would actually have three drawers. These drawers, again, would be soft closed. All drawers in the DRV are soft closed when it allows. Some drawers in the bathroom are too small. The trash drawer, actually, the guides are on the bottom, so it doesn't function properly that way. As we continue on to our left, we come into the kitchen area, and in the kitchen we have a full convection microwave. So we have a Whirlpool microwave that has a large capacity, very, uh, very unique design, and it has hidden control. So you hit the panel, comes up the hidden control, so you can go into your bake mode or whatever you want to set there. And as you open the unit, it has a large capacity unit. Now there are metal racks that you put in here for the convection mode, you have to get that up off of the uh, bottom so that that works properly. And then around the microwave, you have uh, cabinets. Again, these cabinets are actually fixed, so they're not adjustable, but they're designed to hold more weight since they're actually screwed to the sides of the coach, uh, the walls on the uh, pantry. On both sides, we have fixed. And then above the microwave, uh, we have cabinet storage. And then below the microwave, we have our countertop and our backsplice. This is a true backsplice. This is ceramic. This is not a fake, just stick on stuff. This is an actual backsplice. And then we have a three burner cooktop. It's a gas cooktop from Furion. The lid stays attached when you raise it, so you don't have to find a place to store that. And then with your inline eyes, that means you can use a large kettle if you had to encompass two eyes, or if you wanted to put a griddle plate on, you can do that. Then you have an oven, a uh, high capacity oven, so to bake with, and then the uh, pilot light lights off the knob so you don't have to get down and light the pilot light manually. Uh, then you have an LED temperature display to see uh, what your temperature is in your oven. Now as you close the lid, there is a safety switch, so as you start closing this lid, it actually turns the gas off to the range and the oven. So if you do close it and forget to turn the, oven, the range top off, it would automatically turn that gas off so you don't uh, crack your solid surface top. Then you have three drawers on the, on the left of the oven, a drawer and two doors on the right of the oven. Then you have a seven foot countertop and then this countertop houses a uh, stainless steel sink. So you have a large size and then a smaller size. So if you have uh, large pots, pans, kettles, whatever, you have a deep well that you can wash those in. And then a spray faucet comes loose, swing around, and that sprays a single hand operation. And then in below the countertop on the right, you have a Fisher Pacal dishwasher. As a large capacity dishwasher for an RV, very, very quiet, very efficient, gallon and a half of water per cycle. So it would actually take less water to use the dishwasher than it would take you to wash them by hand and then a large storage door uh, below the dishwasher and then the cabinet doors 
below the sink so we have ample storage. Uh, and on the right, the left hand side of the island, uh, we actually have the trash drawer. So you have a trash can comes with the unit on a pull out drawer. Now this drawer is not soft closed because you pull it from the top, the guides are on the bottom. It's not conducive to the shocks. <clears throat> so as we continue on, we have a residential refrigerator, Whirlpool, residential French style. So you have the double door refrigerator. And in the left side of the refrigerator, we have a water dispenser. So you have the gray button here that would dispense cold water and that water is double filtered. So the RV has a whole coach water filter and then the refrigerator itself has a filter. So that is double filtered water. And then in the bottom portion of the refrigerator, we have an ice maker in the bottom and then basket capacity. So you'd have an ice maker on the left, again, double filtered water. And then to the right of the refrigerator, looks like the, just the normal facer trim, but DRV being building for a full-time unit, they use all this space. So they've built for full-time since 2004. So they have became very apt in building for space. In an RV, space is everything. So this would be a spice rack or a condiment rack that can be used. Instead of just having a four inch dead space, they put some shelves in there, a couple of doors, and there you go, you have spice rack. And then as we continue up the steps, going into the bedroom, we have our control panel on our left. So uh, above the control panel, we actually have two doors that we open, and that is the coat closet. So we have two hooks, double hooks, for the coat closet, and then here, we have a termination point for our satellite prep. So this is the data cable that would go to the roof. If you have a roof mount satellite, then your control module would set here, and then you could have a uh, satellite receiver box at each TV. So the bedroom and living room is prepped to receive its own box, so you can have separate receivers. Then below the coat closet, we have our control panel. As we open the doors for the control panel, you see the control center, and on the top of the control center, we have the door side and off door side security lights. There are four inch lights on each corner of the coach and you can turn those on the door side, off door side. Then you have the electric water heater switch, the LP water heater switch, and then the water pump. You have a 100 gallon onboard fresh tank and then a step light. And the step light is for the steps that's coming down from the bedroom into the living room kitchen area. So at night you wouldn't trip or fall. Then you, if you have your coach gen prep, that's where your generator start and hour meter would be. Then on the uh, panel below that, you have the, each slide out has a separate control. So you can open any slide at any time. There's no rhyme or reason to how you do that. And DRV uses sea level gauges. So the, on their tanks, the sensors are not in the tank. They read through the tank. And you have the Dometic thermostat to the right of that. The uh, 44 Houston comes standard with three 15,000 ACs ducted together, controlled in zones. So you have zone one, two, and three, much like you would in your home. And then you can set each zone independently. And then to the right of that, you have your surge protector. That is an option, but all, all of the units here at RVs for Less, we prep with the surge protector. So everything coming into the coach is monitored. If you have any issue with the power, it will shut the unit down to protect itself. Then as we step down, you have the power management system. The power management watches the coach to make, try to help you from kicking breakers. Uh, then below that, you have your tank heaters, your Wi-Fi ranger, your awning lights, and then your awning controls. Then you have the remote control for your 14 inch max air fan in the kitchen. Uh, so it's a nine foot ceiling, so you can't reach that. So they put that on a remote control. And then to the right, you have the switch for the thousand watt magnum convert or inverter. That inverter runs the refrigerator while you're traveling. Then in the lower section, you have the 12 volt fuses and the 110 breakers. As we continue into the bedroom, we have a pocket door that separates the living area from the bedroom area. And in the pocket door, we have a wood panel on the living room side and then on the bedroom side there is a full-length mirror and then the pack the pocket door going into the bathroom you actually have a full-length mirror on both sides of that door so lots of mirror space so as we come into the bedroom 
DRVs are built uh, with standard king size bed. Now this is an RV bed, uh, king size, so it's a 72 by 80. The home is a 76 by 80. And with a king bed, you get facer nightstands. So what that means is there's a nightstand built right onto the face trim of the slide out. That door does open, there is a shelf inside that. There is a uh, light control on each side of the bed, so each light would be controlled individually, and a 110 USB outlet on each side of the bed. Now with a mobile suite, you have a wood headboard with a padded insert. Now you can get a queen size bed. If you do a queen bed, it is a residential queen. It's a 60 by 80. Then the facer nightstand is removed and a six inch shelf is put under each window. Now here at RVs for Less, we offer a Bible and a cross with every unit sold, new or used. We do give a Bible and a cross away. So with the uh, king size bed or in the mobile suite, this is a select comfort mattress. So it is a hybrid. You do have a inner spring and a memory foam top. So it's a three inch memory foam with an inner spring system. It's a very comfortable mattress, but you're welcome always to change them and bring your own, or you can delete that. You can upgrade to a sleep number bed. Now there are storage under the bed. It's about two thirds of the bed. It, you can lift the bed. And then there's two 60 pound shocks that help hold the bed up. So you have a lot of storage there for blankets, pillows, linens, whatever. And the platform of the bed is hardwood plywood. Again, the RV doesn't use uh, pressed wood or OSB. Now, as we look into the vanity slide, we have a eight drawer dresser. Again, all these drawers are soft closed and these, these particular drawers are cedar lined. So you do have a cedar lined drawer. Now above your dresser, you have a 32 inch TV with a, a sound bar system. And inside this little door is a DVD player. This DVD player is a standard DVD player. In the bed, in the living room, it's a Blu-ray. And you can remove carpet in the bedroom if you would like. So they would take carpet out of the bedroom and closet so you could almost have no carpet at all. So as we continue into the front bathroom area, this is the master bathroom. Again, we have a macerator toilet, an electric flush, has a grinder in it. Above the toilet, here at RVs for Less, we have DRV add a medicine cabinet. This is not standard. Then we have a 48 inch shower with a skylight and two LED lights inside the skylight. Again, those are not standard. That's part of the package that we do here at RVs for Less. And then as we look to the vanity top, at the vanity top, this particular unit is built with a single sink configuration. As it's built standard, it is a double sink. Uh, through feedback from our customers, it's the same vanity top size, just has two sinks, so it really limits you on your vanity top space. Most of our customers want a single sink configuration, so that's how we stock them here. So then you have drawers on either side, and then a medicine cabinet and door with shelves on the side of the medicine cabinet. Now you have a linen closet to the left of the vanity top with adjustable shelves, top and bottom. So you can uh, utilize that for towels and washcloths and, and what have you. And then as we look into the front closet area, this is the largest closet that the RV makes. So as this closet is built normally, it's four drawers with a mirror. So we have come up with a configuration that gives us seven drawers, delete the mirror, add a full length clothes rod. You still have the cubby system, but we delete uh, the hanging rod below the cubby, add two shelves, and there will be three baskets on each shelf for storage. Then shelving goes around to the back side of the closet, which gives you a very large closet. Then you see the folding chairs that go with the dinette table. Then you also see the safe. That safe is an option, it is a keyless safe. So that's an option, we always do that here. So most of our customers want that. So even though the 44 foot Houston does not fall under RVA regulations, DRV still builds again all their units to the RVA regulation specifications. So this has been the uh, 44 foot Houston DRV mobile suite. And I would like to thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with me to go through this unit. 
and here at RVs for Less, we would like to thank you and uh, pray God's blessings upon you and your family. If you would like to come visit us, our uh, website is www.rvsforless.net. Phone number 865-521-9112. And again, thank you so much for spending some of your time with me.